to another install video from DW Performance. I'm Corey Tyler. Today we're going to be installing this Garrett Power Max upgrade turbo on his 2007 Duramax behind me. Uh, the nice thing about these Power Max turbos is they're a bolt-on upgrade. Uh, they don't need any extra components. Everything you need comes in the kit. Uh, this particular one is a Stage 1. It's good to 500 horse, which is perfect for the stuff that we've already added to this truck. It's got a Boy Dog GT tuner in it, an AFE cold air intake, and also uh, MBRP 4H dual exhaust system. So this will be a this will complement those upgrades wonderfully. Uh, there's also a stage two option. It's good to 575 horse. Uh, and then the, the Garrett Power Max line goes beyond the Chevy Duramax into Ford and Dodge, covers the 7.3 and the 6 liter on the Fords, and all the 5.9s on the Dodges. Uh, we're going to work through this install today and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're going to start walking us through the process of getting the turbo out. Um, if you look down under the hood, first thing we have to do is get all the air ducting off the top of the engine. Uh, that will get us access to the turbo. Uh, we're also going to get the AC compressor out of the way. Now in the instructions it will tell you that you've got to uh, evacuate the AC system and then pull the uh, compressor out of there. Um, but we know most of you don't have uh, the capability to do that at home. So we'll just show you how to get it out of the way. Uh, Fortunately, these are just rubber hoses on here, so we're just going to pull the mounting bolts off and we can move the compressor right out of the way. So we can disconnect, we've already loosened some of the clamps and stuff. Pull off the air intake boot that goes to the air box, the air, air intake hose I should say. Get that out of your way. We're also going to pull the, the silencer assembly and the tube off the top here. And it just clips down with rubber grommets and a hose. And over here, if you look, there's a plug. This is the wire for the turbo, the vein position sensor on the turbo. You need to unplug that. There's also a couple miscellaneous plugs in, in between here you need to get out of the way. Once you get that stuff out of the way, the crankcase breather hose comes across and connects to both sides. 10 millimeter bolts that connect them to the valve covers. Take those out. Undo the clamp um, on the turbo intake. And then you can pull this whole tube right up out of the way. And then the last thing we're going to do on this step is just to get the AC compressor out. We've already taken the belt off and loosened the bolts. There's four bolts on the top that hold it down. Once you get the bolts out, you can pick the AC compressor right out of the way and we'll just set it off to the side here until we're ready to put it back in place. As you can see, once you get in there, you can see the turbo pretty clear. Uh, we've already loosened the clamp on the intercooler tube for the turbo outlet. I guess that out of the way. Um, now we're ready to start unhooking the exhaust and get the, the turbo out of the valley. Okay, as you can see, uh, after a little bit of blood and a whole lot of sweat, the turbo's out of its home down here in the valley of the engine. Um, we had to, in order to get it out, we had to pull the, the up pipes from the intake and, and the down pipe, most of which you can't see on the back of the engine. But I'll take it down here on the ground and show you the pieces that are out. Okay, here's the turbo. We got that up out of the truck. Um, like I said, we had to pull the down pipe out in order to get it unhooked. Down pipe comes off the back of the turbo here and then down to the exhaust under the truck. This is the uh, passenger side up pipe, goes to the exhaust manifold, to the EGR cooler, and also the back of the turbo and the flange here. Uh, the other up pipe is still on the truck. It is unbolted, but we left it down underneath. Okay, here we've got both the stock turbo we took out and the new turbo we're going to put in. Uh, as you can see, the configuration is exactly the same. Both the stock turbo and the upgrade are both made by Garrett. Um, so it's you know, the exact same configuration. However, the upgrade turbo has a, a different design compressor wheel. It's a little bit larger, allow for more compressor flow, and also a little different design on the turbine side to allow for more turbine flow. Other than that, the, the configuration is exactly the same, so they'll bolt right back in. We'll get the water lines and the oil drain swapped over to the new turbo and then we'll be ready to put it back in the truck. Okay, we have the turbo in place. It's all bolted down. Now we just got to get the up pipes and the down pipes back hooked up and uh, all the pipe work on top. We should be good to go. 
Okay, everything on the top side's buttoned up. Um, if you look underneath here, we've still got the wheel well out. You can see we've got the downpipe is all connected. And underneath now the heat shield and also the up pipe and the up pipe on the driver's side. And a few things to tighten up on the top side and we'll be finishing up. Okay, this project's starting to get wrapped up here. As you can see, we've got most everything uh, in place on top of the engine. The AC compressor is back in place. Um, everything around the turbo is pretty much back in place. You see, we still have the oil feed line is disconnected. And before we start the truck, um, get it up and going, we're going to crank it with the crank sensor disconnected, make sure we've got good oil pressure up to the turbo and then we'll connect it, that way you don't starve the turbo of oil before you start it. But uh, pretty much everything's in place. Um, we just gotta button up the, uh, the inlet pipe and the pipe from the air filter and uh, we'll be all set to go. And we'll take it for a test drive. Okay, as you can see, we've got the uh, Duramax project pretty much buttoned up here. Uh, the new Powermax turbo is all installed. We've got all the plastic pieces on top, the intake, uh, all the air ducting back in place. So uh, I think it's time to take it for a ride and see what this new turbo can do. Okay, let's take this Duramax on the road and see what it can do. Uh, we've got the Bully Dog GT tuner on the extreme setting. Uh, the MBRP dual exhaust out the rear. Uh, this new turbo, we really should be able to hear it when we take off. Uh, but we'll get out here on the road and get on a side street and see what we can do. Nice thing with this uh, Powermax turbo being a bolt-on VGT upgrade is it's still just as drivable as the stock turbo, but it will provide with a little more airflow when you need the power on the top end. You definitely notice the sound of the turbo is much louder, the whistle's there, uh, because of the airflow that it's been producing. Okay, let's just see how the acceleration is with this new turbo. start. It's burning really clean which is what you want. Very little smoke which means it's using all the fuel that's coming out of the program or using it to the best of its ability. Not only does this truck accelerate very nicely, it also has very good roll on power. Uh, we're at 45, 50 miles an hour right now, and if I roll into it, it accelerates very nicely. We get up to 35 pounds of boost, which is roughly 10 pounds over where our stock was. So, all in all, I think this was a great upgrade. Uh, I believe that uh, if you've already got the tuner and exhaust and intake, and you're looking for the next thing to do, then uh, definitely a Power Max Turbo upgrade is the way to go. Okay, and this concludes uh, another awesome upgrade from DW Performance. As with any of our products, if you're interested in getting a PowerMax Turbo, feel free to call any of our locations or visit our website, www.dwperformance.com. Uh, make sure, uh, as with anything, if you're not feeling comfortable or skilled enough to uh, take care of a project like this, uh, any of our locations can do the install for you, so feel free to stop in. Thanks.